Hi friends, it's Mrs. Simpson here. It's time for another science experiment. Well, today I have some empty cups and some water that's mixed with food coloring and we have yellow and we have red and we have blue and I have my little pipettes. Maybe you have eyedroppers or something like that. So I love mixing colors and it's really an important skill to have because when you're doing a painting and you only have some colors and you wanna make some different colors, it's kind of important to know what happens. Do you know what happens when you mix colors? Like if I were to mix yellow and red, what color would I get? If I were gonna mix blue and red, what color would I get? If I was gonna mix blue and yellow, what color would I get? Well, we're gonna find out the answers to some of those questions right now. Let's see, so we've got some yellow and we're gonna try to add some red to that. And then we're gonna shake it up a little. And oh, yellow and red make orange. All right, we're gonna start with yellow again. And we're gonna add some blue to it. What color are we going to get? Maybe a little more blue. We're gonna shake it up and oh, we get green. So yellow and blue makes green. And now we're gonna try some red and a little blue. And we're gonna shake it up a little and oh, purple. So red and blue mixed together makes purple. And now instead of only having three colors, I have six colors. That's awesome. And sometimes it's fun just to try to mix however you want. Like I could just mix all the colors over here and just see what happens. We could mix yellow, and red, and blue. Ooh. Shake it up a little. It looks like we got kind of a grayish color. Kind of fun to try some different ways to mix. You should try it at home.